All right, my people, welcome back. Well, on to this, Eva Ghani Adams finally reacts to the visit of Sheikh Gumi to Igboho's community. All right, my people, the news in details. Well, on to this, the Are on Nakakamfu of Yoruba land, Iba Gani Adams, and other members of the Southwest Security Stakeholders Group have condemned Sheikh Ahmad Gumi's visitation to Igboho town. Well, the Yoruba Nation activist Chief Sunday Adeyemo aka Sunday Igboho is an indigenous of Igboho. The headquarters of the Arelope local government area of Oyo State. Well, in her viral video on Tuesday, the Kaduna State based controversial Islamic cleric was seen in Igboho town alongside a former chief executive officer of the National Health Insurance Scheme, Professor Usman Yusuf. Reacting after an emergency meeting, the security group described the pro bandit cleric's visit as provocative. The security stakeholders made this known in a statement jointly signed by the convener of SSSG Ghani Adams and the secretary Al Haji Owolabi Amosat titled Insecurity Stay Away from Southwest. Southwest Security Group wants bandits. They dismissed Sheikh Gumi's visit to Igboho town, saying the visit was an attempt to mock and undermine the efforts of the Yoruba activists and the freedom fighters. They claimed that the Islamic cleric's body language utterances in Igboho town truly showed that he was behind the DSS attack on Igboho Soka home and that part of the Yoruba terrorist part of the Yoruba territories have been conquered. Gumi is a Nigerian. He has a right to visit any part of the country, but it shouldn't be the extent of being deliberately attacking Igboho's ideology in his hometown. Such an attempt is provocative and then can lead to a crisis. That was why it elicited various reactions. Gumi's ideas are always at variance with the present reality in the country. And then I think it is better for him to desist from fanning the embers of this court in the country and the southwest in particular. Part of the statement added. All right, on to this, the security stakeholders also warned bandits and other bad elements to stay away from the southwest region. They claimed that there are feelings that bandits have perfected their plans to strike in southwest. The statement added, on this note, the Southwest Security Stakeholders Group has considered it necessary to beef up the security operations in our region and we charged the police and all other security outfits across the region to remain vigilant in ensuring that the region is safe. Any attempt to invade the Southwest will bring about both economic and political doom. SSSG is driven by the calls to ensure effective security across the Southwest. We are also keen on regionalism, where each region will control the security architecture of their respective region. If Nigeria didn't return to or go back to regionalism based on the true federalism that we have in the past there may be a crisis and then nobody should blame those agitating for self-determination but as a group we will not relent in the struggle to protect the southwest and we are determined to partner with the police and other security agencies to combat crime and make the region safe for all and sundry all right my people hmm, this is another one right now well the truth of the matter has now been that
The visit of Sheikh Gumi to Igbo Hotam is not welcomed by the Yoruba leaders. Hmm. My people, well, this is what it is right now. On to this one. <laughs> well, the Coco, hmm, let me use the word Coco. The real deal is that he who has eyes will definitely see who the bad guy is. <laughs> Sheikh Gumi is the bad guy. Well, and then another bad guy in the Yoruba terrain is out to know, let him understand that the Yorubas are not weak. They are not stupid. All right, thanks to Ibagani Adams and uh, some notable Yoruba leaders. On to this one, they have condemned the visitation of Sheikh Gumi. Well, the fact remains that there is nothing Sheikh Gumi wants to tell us. He cannot tell us that, oh, of all places to visit is only Igbo town that he can visit. That is just to mock Sunday Igbo, of which he has failed in his plans. The other time he was like, oh, our coming to Igbo town is to let them understand that peace will reign that we can live together who want to live together with you that is the question majority of people have been like Sheikh Gumi hmm it's only God that saved you hmm, because on a very good day on a very <laughs> oh my god I know some people want to hear that very good day and that is it well the only thing I can say out of the very good day somebody said had been that if Chief Sunday Bo is in Nigeria then never born somebody like Hmm, Shei Gumi to visit that town. <laughs> a lot of things had been said, my people, on to this one. But the fact has now remained that what is Shei Gumi looking for in Southwest when life has been destroyed in the North? So how many people have you been able to take care of? How many people have you been able to fight for in the North? Brutal killing of innocent souls in the Northern part of the country of which majority of these had been caused by you, Gumi. Everybody knows that Gumi is fighting for his own pocket and exactly what it is. Yes, yeah, so, so now, the Are and Nakakamfo and other Yoruba leaders are now out, out to say, Oh God, we condemn your coming. Don't come and give us some cock and boo story that uh, you want unity in Yoruba land. Which kind of unity? Or you are fighting for your pocket so that things go spoil, you go be hammer. God punish the devil. God punish the devil. You think so? We don't know. We know, say you they try to look for me. We be say, then go come kidnap people. You go come come out. Say okay, make on a pay ransom. <laughs> we don't say your own at twenty percent. God punish devil. Where the Yorubas have woken up that our mumu don't do. Gumi, we condemn your coming. Make we no see you for year again, no. Make it no see you for year again. <laughs> All right, my people, and then that has been it on this one. Meanwhile, let me have your take on this, my people, and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks, and God bless.